Hey guys, this is Azra here, and we are back on Jintegi.net playing some Kate up against Engineering the Future. So, again, just to run through, we're playing a bit of a weird hybrid deck here. This is definitely not a starting hand we want. We really want to see professional contacts in our opener if possible. And we don't, but we do see some significant economy, which is not too bad. So yeah, this deck's focusing on kind of trying to cover a lot of bases, maybe a little too many actually, but it's got professional contacts, it's got a net shield, um, a David, a clot, um, oh, the tech back here just for a wanderer, which is fine. Uh, so install, install, credit, that's not too bad. Did he mulligan, I missed that there. Uh, he kept his opening. He kept. kept he kept. <laughs> he kept his opening hand. So not too bad. Um, so yeah, we're trying to cover a lot of bases here with this deck. I just want to see how it goes. Hoping to come up against some sort of any etch and industrial genomics type decks just to see how well this holds up. Uh, we're still looking for that professional contacts, and we're not going to see it, uh, which is kind of sad. So we're just money up, kind of settling for the long game. This deck definitely um, does well uh, long term. We have clot and clone chips there to try and you know fend off the early kind of fast events aggression. Uh, oh, super statics, good. Interesting splash in HB. So this is really making me want to run. And considering I've got mimic, I think I might pop the mimic out and just start running. Protects us from Architect, which is really the big fear. Um, not too much else uh, I'm worried about. He lets us into HQ without resing, which is pretty interesting. We see Breaker Bay. I am definitely okay with trashing that. And a little unfortunate that I didn't economy in a slightly better manner. Um, but next turn we can kind of look to, to take advantage of this. So no Proco definitely hurting us. We, we don't want to be drawing cards um, without getting the credits. No Astrolabe either, so we're kind of a little behind than where we'd like to be with our board position. That could be... If it was an agenda, I feel like you probably would have raised the ice in front. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm too worried about that being an agenda. So I'm just going to continue to get some money going here. If it is an accelerated beta test or Vitruvius, you know, uh, it's not the best in the world, but I'm honestly not too worried. If it's something like an Eve or an Adonis, we can look to sort of drop into that next turn. And probably face Planet Turing. Okay. Wow, gaining credits here. So maybe it's an upgrade? Ah, okay. So yeah, tricky spot here. If it is a Turing, we are rocking Gordian Blade, which is really not the best way to get through. So we could self-mod uh, and sort of run in here. I think I'm just going to have a wee look at R&D. Let's see if I can get into res some other ice here. Eli is fine. Will I click through Eli? Indy's not what we want to be using in CLI at all. But I could click through to see a card. I'm already engaged in the run. I think I'm all right with it. I'm not, I'm not going to force that. Let's have a look at server two. Let's see what we got in front. Architect, okay. So interesting res there. We're definitely going to go ahead and break both of those. So we're probably going to see a Breaker Bay and something like uh, an Eve or an Adonis here. So it's an Ash. Oh, goodness, I really do want to trash that. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and give it to that. And another Ash. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, do you know what? I'll find you out of both while I'm here. Um, not the best position for us to be in. But I'm alright with that, Ashley. Um, obviously, he can shuffle them just back in with Jackson's if, he, if and when he gets one. 
maybe that was slightly over aggressive, but I feel like his R and D are where the agendas are at right now. And his data casts are going to keep ticking over. We just really need to see this professional contacts. There it is. Good, good. Let's get that installed. Okay, so better late than never. We just need to see if we can keep pace now. We need to keep our economy taking over. Is he going to get an ash back? He's going to get Breaker Bay back. Now, is this a bit of a... No, I, I was trying to think, is this a bit of a, a cheeky play where he pretends it's the Breaker Bay, but it's actually an agenda? How interesting would that be? Hmm... This is the problem with the likes of Jinteki.net. You just don't know how cheeky um, players are being. But I'm going to give him benefit of the doubt and let him look to res those uh, while I continue to get my economy back up. I'll give it this pro cool. This net shield's probably useless this game. And yeah, we've got an Eve campaign, which we're definitely going to have to go after. Potentially should have just gone in and trashed the Breaker Bay to force this, but having to pay through the Architect, okay, it's only two credits, but I really don't have to keep running through this. Is he reclaiming the... Oh, wow, he is. He's reclaiming the Ashes, which um, is great, but considering he drew a card first and didn't install an Ash, I'm just going to go straight in there right now. Um, yeah, and I, I really don't like it, but I think I've got to. So let me go. This is really not the kind of game you want to be playing against Food Coats, but I cannot let him have just 16 credits for free. No, oh, don't think there's anything he can do pre run here, so that's right. Curious again to see what you guys think of that play, if that was worthwhile or if that was a little bit um, overzealous. I'm trying to think of the film critics, any good for us here. I don't think there's any agendas that film critic would really be any good for except for NAPD. Um, so I'm just going to let it go. Uh, this professional contacts can go. Potentially an indexing could go. I don't really think I'm going to need two of them. Yeah. This um, cerebral static, I don't think it's really done anything to us as of yet. Um, it could potentially cost us a credit or two if we do go to start getting through thicker servers, but. Okay, so he is getting cheeky. He's throwing out a card and a nice, knowing we have a self -modifi modifying coat on the table. I'm tempted, I think, just to leg work here. Hmm. So economy wise, we've seen two Daryl Andrews, two Daily Cast, and one Sure Gamble go. So we're actually seeing a reasonable amount of our economy already, which is a little sad. If he does rush out a 3 2 here, I'm kind of alright with it. Not sure if the legwork's actually going to yield anything. I'd like to think he has an agenda in his hand, but if this is it, it might be the only one he's seen so far. If I do legwork, that'll put me on five credits. We potentially need self-modifying code, so money's a small concern. I'll maybe hold off and wait until he draws another card next turn if that is an agenda. So let's just take a second, just install again. I don't want to be feeding into this cerebral static. Could install the empty. Mm, I don't feel like it's going to see that much play this game. Okay, so let's drop the empty. And tricky one here, actually. Could drop the David to have it available for clone chipping. Or could just straight up install it next turn. No, let's have it ready for clone chip. We'll do the clone chip next turn and then look to, uh, look to attack HQ. So it was just an Adonis. So at this point, 33 cards left in this deck. He really should have an agenda uh, or two in his hand. <laughs> he does protect HQ, okay. And we're financially in a tricky spot where we're not really guaranteed to get in. And I really wouldn't want to feel uh, a legwork. I may have to let this Adonis go slightly. Mm. We 
We are playing uh, one Carrie Jones. She would be really good to see right now. We know both Ashes are in hand. That's probably one of the two of them. We're really just not seeing our economy. There we go. So we don't need this diesel. We don't need this self-modifying code. And this is where dropping Faust has maybe caused a bit of an issue. Because with Faust, we could kind of throw away these cards. We're binning quite a few that we could potentially be using just to apply a ton of pressure onto R&D and XQ here, which we're not doing. So that could be Ash Ash. It could be Ash Breaker Bay. It could even be Ash Caprice. Um, I think either way, two more sure gambles in the deck. I'm going to draw again and then legwork or just legwork now. Yeah, either way, I think we need to start putting pressure on. So I'm hoping nine credits is going to be enough to see us through here, but I'm concerned it might not be. But I don't think we can leave it another turn. So Victor is probably worth just clicking through. The ice behind could be much worse, but considering we've only really got Gordian Blade as an answer, that'd be costing us four to install, five to get it to strength, six, seven to break. So it'd really be everything plus the two credits himself mod. So I think I'm just gonna click through this. A little bit risky considering the fact that we could hit something far worse behind it. But uh, let's see what's behind here. Eli, I am definitely okay with. So we can go and get Lady here. So Lady will be four installs, so will be six, and then up to strength would just be one on the counter. Yes, I'm definitely alright with this. Okay. So definitely hoping to see an agenda or two here. I feel like this is a, probably the best time we could have run. Oh, there's a Vitruvius, fantastic. There's a food. And the next gold, wow, okay. So yeah, I think we timed that as just about as well as we could have. We're definitely gonna be behind in the economy now. He has a big scoring window. Um, he does actually fire at another cerebral static. So four influence spent on two cerebral statics. It's quite curious. And did he just draw into another agenda? Maybe, but I feel like R and D is probably going to be where we're going to start going now. Though, um, let's continue to money and draw. There's a notoriety which really could come into play this game. We're just going to money up, and <laughs> the flipping cerebral statics hurting us a little bit, but I don't think. There's any reason to install another clone chip right now, so I'm just going to continue to draw. Artist Colony, probably not going to be of any use to this game. It's really just one Artist Colony in there to help with Shikus and news teams, and I don't think there's any agendas coming out of food coats that we really would want to uh, forfeit. So yeah, I think it's gone. So economy-wise, we've really only got two sure gambles left in there, and the Caddy Jones, which we really want to see as soon as possible. He is clicking to draw. So this is a real wonder server right now. This is like two ashes Caprice or two ashes Breaker Bay. Um, this is just not somewhere we want to be. Um, but I'm happy if he, you know, if he pushes out an agenda here from there, that's that's okay. What I want to do is try and get pressure on R&D pretty quickly here so I can stop him getting a huge amount of ice. So it might be time to make his eye here. Uh, there's the app man, which I'd far prefer to have in the bin. Really, we've only got David that we can clone chip. Inti is really of, of no use right now. So I think, yeah, I think Mecca's eye is on the cards. Worst comes to worst. I can't think of anything that David won't protect us from that I'm really concerned about. Itchy one, we can double click through to protect the program. So yeah, I'm all right with that. So let's get in here and see if we can just get another agenda straight off the bat. Okay, so stacked up Eli's is nice and cheap. So that's definitely okay. Show me an agenda. Oh, there's a global food. And Jackson's definitely going in the bin. 
and there's a Turing. Okay, so the notoriety is really on the cards now. There's Levy, probably not that useful. So let's drop Astrolabe and the Atman. Right, so right now we have the potential notoriety win on the cards here. We would need to scavenge the Lady, which is okay, but we could use its one counter by uh, running through the victor. The only small concern we have is that we actually don't have a way to break the victor right now. So Gordian Blade's still in the deck. I'd rather draw into it than self-mod for it. We're just running two self-mods and they're actually both in the bin already. But I think we're going to probably clinch out this game before he's going to even pose any threat. Caddy's really too slow now. Now we know we've got it on the cards. Could install her? I don't think so. Thinking. So, realistically, we could clone chip the self modifying code to do this. Uh, so I'll pop out the clone chip. Oh, second clone chip, sorry. And I think this is going to give it a, give it to us next turn. We'll need to scavenge the lady, but I would like to do a run on HQ first. Oh my word. So yeah, R&D is where the game is at. Right now, he's super concerned about us making it in there once, when really actually we just want to get in there once for the notoriety. So he's making it very difficult, which I think is the right thing for him to do here. The other options, we could just go long game. Um, ooh. Net really eyes is good here. We do have two simple things on the board. Mm, we could no, I oh, oh, I really would like Net Red Eyes installed, but I do not want to risk losing notoriety. Let's just plop the kitty down and start to fill her up. So I'm running three diesels, which I think you do need. They just help you out with giving you potential starting hands which are more keepable and as he continues to ice up so really all he's doing is icing up while he lets his eve tick down until he gets to the point that he feels that he can safely score um really the longer this goes on the better it is for him and we do need to be careful we don't get economied out here parasite i am definitely good with the question is what's the target the victor's not a bad target but realistically um it's pretty cheap to deal with anyway i might just pop this parasite down on one of the elis or i could just do it next turn i think i'll just do it next turn um, we do have a second maker's eye to come so we could always make eye as part of the notoriety game and maybe end up running off r&d anyway as soon as we go we, we want the game to be guaranteed over if we start making a run on hq and r&d and, and whiff and don't win um, or we let him get a chrysium here um, it could be pretty bad we put ourselves in a pretty bad financial situation and give him a big window do we run HQ now, knowing that another barrier potentially keep us out? Um, yeah, do you know what I think we do? I think we have more than enough economy here to do this. So let's go HQ and see what's in front of us. We have the Atman. Atman at four here actually might end up being the best play. Um, yeah, in fact, Atman at four is absolutely going to just save our back in here. I mean, there's only one next program here, but there could be more next here as well. But this Atman at four is just going to seal through everything. Um, continue on. Get out the self mod, which is going to let us get the Gordian. So we are spending, oh man, we're spending a lot of money here actually. Um, so we're going to pay one to get the strength two credits so i think i potentially spent more money here than i really wanted to 
That at man. I mean, I could have potentially just let the next gold fire. I think I might have misplayed that actually. And by might have, I mean I'm pretty sure I did. Hmm. I think I've done exactly what I didn't want to do, which is actually um, going before I actually had the economy to get through. So, obviously Archives is free. Can we get into R&D for four credits? I very, very much don't think so. So, that's a pretty bad spot. Yeah, paying for both the Atman and Gordian Blade installs. So that's seven plus the four powers. So that's 11 credits that went into that before even breaking. So, I think that was overly impatient, especially considering I had three cards in my decks and my stack left. So a little bit annoyed at myself there. We don't want to levy and lose the notoriety. Hmm. Let's just continue to money up again. At least we know we can get in there pretty cheaply. We know this Atman is going to deal with so much at four now. Uh, so that's okay. So I'll just get rid of these. Um, do we need the net ready eyes? I think again, it's still worth holding on to. Scavenge we definitely need. Actually, maybe we could have played that instead of drawing would have been better. Yeah, that was a big misplay on my part. I put myself in a pretty bad situation. He's got a huge window here, which again, with him being on zero points, it's probably not gonna be game ending for us. But if I had let him get to sort of three or four points, I would have probably lost the game making that play. Okay, so he trashes the Eve campaign early, which really says everything we need to know. And single advances. So it could be advanced hopper, could be an NAPD, it could be a project for Truvius that he's maybe trying to over advance to get Cerebral Static or something like that back into play, maybe an Adonis back into play or, or a Jackson. And we are in a little bit of a tricky situation. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to get into HQ. It's at least four more for the Eli's on R and D. And have no more money in the deck. If we levy, we potentially lose the notoriety and put ourselves back a severe amount of turns to try and draw back into it, and then we're trying to get into the server. I feel like notoriety is the way to win. We just need the economy. So, let's see. The lady makes the Eli's one credit cheaper, <laughs> which could be significant. I do feel like it's worth scavenging it. So I'll get it back topped up again. We'll do Katie and then just take her credit. So really we need to work out how much it's the worst case scenario is going to be running R&D. If he was to score something like a priority requisition, we'd be pretty sad. So one, two, what do you say? Three, four, five, so seven here. Eight, nine, 10, 11, or it could be nine if we use ladies. So potentially to hold off just one more turn. He's firing a bit of test? No. So we installed a card in server two, then advanced advance, that's fine. Mm, do we really just carry and then just credit up? I think so. This is <laughs> an incredibly anticlimactic way to kind of end this. And I'm hoping he's drawing agendas and he's just going to keep installing them and advancing them. If he starts putting more ice on top of R&D or HQ, we're going to be really sad, actually. Good. He's continued to install sideways, which I'm fine with. It's really what I want. Oh, fantastic. So he's putting resources onto this remote, which I am just way on board for and i think i'm going to continue just one more turn well that being said i'll need a turn to take the money from katie so if i go now it'll be 24. oh man 
I have no clone chips now, I've just realised for the Davids either. Oh man, I have made a bit of a meal of this. I might need to just levy now. Hmm, Ichi 2.0 would be brutal. Do you know what? I'm just going to credit up a next turn and we're going to go for it. If these two ice on R&D are something that prevents us getting in, then we're, we're almost certainly going to lose the game at that point. He's reclaiming back Eve campaigns. Okay. Seems legit. It's probably just Breaker by Eve in there. Could be, that again, another tricky agenda play. Okay, here we go. So let's run HQ. And we're going to... In fact, running HQ first is silly, but I've done it now, so let's just go. So two credits, because I should have run R&D first, because if we're not going to get in there, then at least we would know that we're not going to get in. We will use the Lady Counters, because why not? In fact, I'll definitely consider the at man for R&D, but let's see. There's Jackson. At this stage, I'm not going to trash him because I don't want to run the risk of credits. Let's try R&D. So here we go. Whatever these two ice are, if it's each 2.0s or even Assassins, we're sad. Nick's Bronze, we are super okay with. Super okay with that. And we're hoping for something like another Nick's Bronze behind this. I'll be very happy. If it's something nice and simple, like a next silver is good. So there's three there, three and the runs. Um, we do have parasite in hand. There's nothing to death and forest. So it's just going to be two counters. Oh man, so fantastic! At man really coming through in the end, despite my horrendous misplay. This should seal the deal even if we don't hit an agenda off the top the only thing that could go wrong is if we hit a snare and we lost levy from hand if we're or we lost notoriety from hand if we're going to think worst case scenario that would be absolutely worst case scenario but i very much doubt he's doing that considering his influence spend so far nick silver that's fine we run archives At this point, he maybe fears Apocalypse, but Notoriety is going to give us the game fantastic. So even with my um, real mess up uh, mid-game there, we managed to pull it through in the end just by holding off. Um, really, the usefulness of Notoriety, I kind of, when I put this deck together, the deck I have in mind for it is the Food Coach deck. Knowing that you only have to get three and then can Notoriety four, and that final point is pretty good. Wow, it was three Ashes. Um, so really cool to see that like wow what what an interesting mix so he's decided to go for the next sweep but keep um the elis and architects so spending a lot of influence to keep them i never even considered actually the fact that there is essentially three eyes and architect that was raised there that was four from the mwl and he was losing plus four to the cerebral so yeah probably not even well definitely not even running on caprice i imagine and uh, a really good game all in all so yeah thanks so much for watching guys i enjoyed that one and i hope to see you along for the next